Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Woo. My God, thank God for Elder Elect Jeremy Ava. All right, I don't sing, but here we go. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan will. I can't get it there. Yes. Oh, tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. Woo. My God, we have the victory in the name of Jesus. Y'all confused me. Y'all got right with me. Woo. Yes, Giving on to God. Giving on to Pastor First Lady. The house has already been addressed, but I had to get those in. All right, now keeping with this theme for the month of June, the word is begins with a re. I couldn't decide if it was going to be renew or restore or something else. So here I go. The Lord had me turn to Psalms 118 and 17. It's just one scripture. It says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. I don't know. I don't know if y'all got it. I'm going to read it one more time. It says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Yeah. So if you didn't get my topic, it's relive. Relive. My English teacher might not like that word, so I would say live again. <laughs> the enemy has showed us his ugly face, and he wants, to take, he wants us to take on this mantle of depression and oppression. But it's not so. Say it with me. Not so. Not so. Amen. The devil wants us to live in bondage. He wants us to live in fear and disappointment. Tell your neighbor, not so. Not so. If Lucifer had his way, yes, yeah, so we're going to call him by his name. If he had his way, you wouldn't even come to the house of the Lord to give God praise. He would want your spirit man to die. But what's the word? Not so. Amen. The Bible reminds us that the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Oops, Jesus. The theme scripture starts off with, I shall not die. I shall not die. Sometimes you got to speak it over your own life. Because we always can't get to the prophet. And sometimes the enemy will get in your head and get you confused. But we got to be able to stand up and say, devil, you a liar. I shall not die. God's will is that for us to live. It says, if God be for us, who can be against us? The Bible also tells us that we will see greater works. We just need to ask in Jesus' name. So I'm going to take you down two paths. It's a secular life experience that we go through. And then there's a Christian life experience. So we're going to start off with the secular life. We look forward to certain milestones in life. We're happy when the kids get their first tooth. We're happy when they start crawling. We're happy when they start walking. We're happy when they go to school for the first time. Then we're happy when they get the prom and graduation after those teen years. Kids are happy to become 18. Everyone is happy when they get to 21. And if you're lucky, at 25, your insurance will go down. Once we make it to 30, you know, then we have arrived. Life is Gucci. And if you're ready for the workforce, it becomes real. 
Then 40 comes. My God. But we say that's the new 30. <laughs> but something in your body will tell you you're not really 30. The next major milestone is we waiting to get to the big 5-0. Next, we looking forward to retirement. Hopefully, we get some kind of social security. We don't have to work no more unless we just want to. Yes, yes. <laughs> then we have a jubilee celebration when we make it to the promised 70. Now I'm going to make the next ones 80, 90, and 100. We're just happy, and we know we're blessed that Lord has favored us. In every situation, we're looking forward to the next. God wants us to live now. Now. Every new morning is a day of new mercies. It is time for us to relive or live again. I'm going to jump over to the Christian experience. Christian experience is not linear. We, you know, we bless that we get christened when we're a baby. We get saved for the first time. Then we get baptized. Then sometimes we got to do repeat for that salvation thing again. You know, we stand up in front of the pastor. We say the words. He say, yes, this, this, yes. God saved me. Thank you for forgiving me my sins. But nothing changed. But at some point, I don't know what time it is. It might be three. It might be four. It might be five. But at some point, something happens. After you get saved, then there's another thing that happens. There's the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yes, we still need the Holy Ghost. We, we don't talk about it as much, but we still need the Holy Ghost in this day and time. We are now moving on up from training pants to season status. This is the point where we can learn how to say scriptures and truly mean it like this. My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in the infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. It takes a season saint to get there and say that. Oh, my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. I don't know about some of y'all. Did y'all have to say some of them words? Because I know. So, Lord, this cup pass from me. But I like the next word. It says, nevertheless. <laughs> Woo! Nevertheless. Not as I will, but as thou wilt. I have learned in this life that for some God will, and for some God won't. But I'll tell you this, God can. You know when you come in here, sometimes you, you get to the season state status, you say, I will bless the Lord at all times. <laughs> you ain't had the worst week of your life, everything crumbling, falling apart, but I'm going to still, you're supposed to come in here as a season saint, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Woo. For God I live, and for God I die. Woo. Now we're not talking about literally dying. It was more your flesh dying. First Thessalonians says, In everything we will give thanks, for this is the will of God. In Christ Jesus concerning you. For I am persuaded that neither death, <laughs> I'm still talking to the seasoned saints. We ain't got to the grown saints yet. This is the seasoned saints. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature. Whew shall be able to separate us from the love of God. When the enemy shows up, 
and you're a season saint, you know how to say, peace, be still. But you got to be able to see it. Because <laughs> sometimes you say, peace, be still, but you're like, Lord, this stuff is still crumbling. I don't know what's going on, but when you can't see it yet, you got to learn how to see it. Philippians 4.11 says that, For I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. Content. God's will will be. I will not give my testimony, but I'll just tell you this much. This word, live again, was for me. You know, you pray for people, you ask God to work miracles, and Lord, deliver them, help them, Lord. And then the one time it comes to your family, the word is live again. It hits your own family, and you say, Lord, I'm praying, I'm calling on you, I'm laying before you. Lord, what is going on? Live again. Even in this place, you have to declare some things over your life. It's time to live again. There go a few things. I will declare life. I will declare victory. I will declare healing. I will declare faith. I will declare love. I will declare joy. going to live again. And while we live, we're going to declare peace now. We're going to declare happiness now. We're going to declare his protection now. My God. There's even signs, miracles, and wonders. We're going to declare it now. So I begin to think about this. There's Jesus came to this earth. He went to the cross for us. He laid down his own life. He was buried. And then, in the end, there was three days. He got on up. He got up. And we going to live again. I'm talking about the Lord, how he laid the path out for us. He made it crystal clear that he is coming to deliver us. He's going to allow us to get to that point. We may not always experience it here on this earth. But we are going to live again. That's the word the Lord told me to tell you. Live again. No matter what you've been going through. No matter what's been happening in your life. No matter what sickness has come in your body. You are going to live again. But you can declare it now. You can declare it now. You don't got to wait for that next milestone. We can declare it now. I ask you that you would keep me in your prayer. That is my message for the day. You're going to live again.